Hey guys, Smashcast here. I'm PJ and AG. And today we're going to be talking about the SSB4 release dates that were um, mentioned in the Smash Direct. So the 3DS is going to be released, or the 3DS game is going to be released in summer, and the Wii U version is going to be released in the winter. So AG is just going to start this off. So yeah, the 3DS one releasing in summer, of course, would be great time for people who are going to be um, away on the go and want to have something really fun to play or just have nothing to play at the moment. So they'll have like the uh, SSB4 to play on their 3DS and it would be better than waiting half a year to play the Wii U version if the 3DS one also happened to come out at the same time. Yep. Do you have any problems with it, like, releasing it during the 3DS, like, during the summer? What, the 3DS version being released in the summer just in general? Yeah. Um, I think that's good because for people who really don't have, um, time on their hands in the summer and just want to play video games, <coughs> me, and, um, yeah, I think it's good for that, and people will buy it instantly. I already have it on pre-order, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, and then of course the Wii U one being the winter of 2014, so in time with Christmas, and plus we're going to have Christmas vacation, so we get tons of time off, so people are going to um, spam playing it, and it's going to be really cool because people buy a lot of things during Christmas time, and having it come out during winter would increase the sales of it a lot, and that would be really good for Nintendo. Agreed. Now, the big reasoning why they had this released separately was actually one of the smartest decisions I've ever heard in my life. Nintendo has made a lot of crappy decisions, let's During say During this past year, with yeah. all the stuff about the Wii U and, you know, expectations for it failing, stuff like that. Everything in general, though, they, they in the past few years, they have slowly been declining in what they can be doing, and that's kind of a big problem here. Like, the commercials are not ever as good, and half people, half of the people don't even know that a Wii U is separate from an actual Wii console, um, and most people don't even know that it's an actual viable system. Some people think it's just some last-gen system, when it's actually a next-gen system, it was accessor to the Wii U, to the, the Wii U is a successor to the Wii, and it wasn't just some big fail that got removed or something this is an actual console that you can buy apparently and the fact that sakurai was able to do this was really smart because having the two release dates separated well first of all summer is definitely after e3 and e3 is the key point if any developer wants to get their game on the market and get great sales they need to get it playable there, they need to have a big booth for it, they gotta make a big deal out of it, they gotta get a bunch of YouTubers to record all the gameplay, then people will buy it, and they will play it, and they will record more footage, and in return, more people will play it, and get buy it, and play it, and buy it. And then, having people buying it like that, it would create a lot of hype on every social network that, that um, would be talking about it. Unlike something that would happen with, let's say, for example, GTA 5, who has big hype right at the release, but then January came down, slow down, grabbed the wall, and then they grabbed the wall, and then February rolled around, almost dead, March practically dead. Now, there are the dedicated fanboy channels that go to GTA uh, 5, and for example, us would be the equ equivalent to that, would be the Smash Bros. channel, and pretty much what happening would be the Wii U one coming out, so at the time that the 3DS one would be dying out the hype, would be right after summer, then around fall, everyone's just noticing that the Wii U one's coming out, so hype, build, 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 and then the Wii U game comes out, BOOM! Then it just blows up, and plus we got all those packs, uh, PAX East and everything that it could be shown off in and everything like it, there's just a ton of things that it can be shown off at the gameplay and it, it's just great timing and that way the the actual Smash Brothers hype would last almost an entire year which is actually amazing and what do you what do you think about this like it's just blows my mind 
yeah, I think it's good. Um, the release dates were planned perfectly for sales and all that because Nintendo isn't really doing as good as they should. So yeah. Yeah, I think th th that's definitely a great thing, and the fact that the the game just getting really good release dates will definitely build up a lot of money for them, and and um, people having the two different release dates. People are gonna buy it, the diehard fans on the 3DS, and then of course the people who have a 3DS would probably love it, so they buy it. And then of course we'll have diehard fans again, and then the people who would love having an HD version, which is the rest of us, um, would buy the Wii U version. So in return, you get like double the money, and a 3DS game is 40 bucks, a Wii U game is 60 bucks, not including tax and everything, but then you, they just practically robbed okay i'm meaning this in like a nice way i'm just no like harm f uh, hard feelings or anything it's they just practically robbed you of a hundred dollars that's a third of the wii u price it's like whoa like it, it's just like that much money and they're, they're gonna make a ton of money off of this thing and whether or not they have dlcs is another thing like do you think they'll have dlcs um I, I'm not really sure. I don't think they will. It's not really Nintendo's kind of place. Um, they did do the DLC for Super Luigi U or whatever. But yeah, if they added DLC, it would be cool. And if they, if it was like an added price, I think it would be good for Nintendo. Yeah, I think that since they're not big in that category. It was even a trouble for them last time in Brawl to get the online play. This time, they have no problem with online play. Everything, they, they know exactly what the consumers want, and that's what I love about this one. But it's just like, I, Sakurai, even though he's actually in the direct, he said that he's working in the Namco Bandai building, and since he's getting um, work in um, Bandai's building, uh, it could change the fact that we get DLCs, because Sega, uh, Sonic Lost World, which is a bad game, got tweaks but still those tweaks that fix up the game for making it uh probably like a 40 percent game rise it up to 60 that's still not as great as it should be they have a ton of dlcs they got the yoshi's island um dlc they got the legend of zelda one and there's even an uncom there's even a confirmed new one that's going to be coming out a dlc for sonic lost world which it's a big thing that Sega w would do, but Nintendo hasn't done that. And whether or not Namco Bandai, uh, Bandai Namco, will be bringing this to the table will be very interesting. And 3DS just has limits, so it would bring in a lot more cash. But the 3DS limit thing is probably one of the biggest things. So I don't know if DLC would count as a strike against it, but I think that's just saving it to your 3DS. Uh, card instead of the actual game slot, so that would actually work because Sakurai says that uh, characters do take up a lot of space on the 3DS. Where you're getting DLCs, they'd be able to cover a lot of things, and that would be saved instead on your SD card or something. And yeah, it would be more interesting. Yeah, agreed. And if they probably do come out, the release date for the DLCs would probably be like maybe a week after the Wii U one, but. I think that the the only reason I think they're they're not a big suit in it, and also they they also have two games. So how the DLCs would be released for that uh, seems sketchy. And if it were to come out, probably like a week after the Wii U version. Yep. So do you have any final thoughts about any of these release dates? I think they did a really good job with this direct, and I think the release dates were great. And yeah. Uh, for me, uh, there's there's no problem with this. Uh, of course, I feel a tiny bit jealous because you get to play it. I don't have a 3DS and I don't want to buy one, so partially jealous that you're gonna get to play the game for me. So, yeah. I'm not gonna let you play it. Well, thanks. No problem. Anyways, guys, Smashcast signing out. We're gonna have a new video coming out, coming talking about all the other stuff that happened at the direct, specifically. The next one going to be about characters and things, so stay tuned for that. So, Smashcast signing out. Peace.